Hi, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our Adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did a dungeon, finally. We did Dead Mines. It was a lot of fun. We had a good group. We didn't die. It's a pretty smooth run. We also completed a bunch of quests, so we almost hit level 26. So today, we are going to be heading to Stormwind, and we are going to be turning in the quests O Brother, Underground Assault, and The Unsaid Letter. And those Hello. are uh, three quests that we finished safe travel in uh in the dead mines yeah I had, a, I had a lot of fun i'm happy i did that dungeon we're gonna start doing more we got some uh people trying to do a dead mines run right now one of the downsides was i was a little bit too high of a level for it so a lot of the the mobs were gray but i still had fun so I'm looking forward to doing some more dungeons. I might do the stockades next. That's my guess. Um, what's, what's, one of the, what's my guess that I think I'm going to do the stockades? We don't know. Maybe I'll do another dungeon. But I think the stockades would be the next dungeon that I do. And yeah, I like doing the dungeons, guys. So we'll probably be doing some more of those. And we'll probably hit level 26 today, I hope, when I turn in all of these quests. And that will allow us to get to use this new gun that we purchased right here. The Magi Blunderbuss. There it is. We're going to get to use this new gun. And we're going to check out the auctions because I forgot to do that. I made some auctions a couple episodes ago and I forgot to check them. So we're going to check those today. Hopefully we had some sales. And if not, I guess we'll have to uh, we're gonna have a lot to sell. Should we sell this back piece or should we wear it? I think I'd rather keep the spell damage than the three stamp. Alright, well here we are. We're back in Stormwind. It's a nice peaceful night. Been having a lot of night episodes lately. Try to get some, some day ones <laughs> soon. Clearly uh, Trap and Trav is a night owl at the moment. Okay, so here we are. Let's check the uh, the mail. Dear friend, Dialiana. Oh, dear fuck. <laughs> Wait, that. Dirty gold sellers, guys. I tell you. I tell you. I wish Blizzard had a way to get rid of them. Well, they do. They could sell gold on, in Classic, but I kind of take away from the experience. So it looks like we didn't sell a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a lot of this junk here. And I'm going to take, uh, keep it on here for now. I don't really want to sell all this, but I'll take out all of, I'm going to vendor the, we'll vendor the spider acre because it doesn't really sell. We'll just keep this here for now. Because it's a lot of st auction house stuff to do. And I might save that for another time. I'm going to get rid of the spider acre because it never really sells. And now we'll put a bunch of, uh, bunch of loot on the auction house that'll be the plan for now got a lot of loot in that dungeon a lot of boe loot so we'll sell all of this we also have a lot of heavy uh, wool bandages i think i should probably get rid of the the wool ones now help you find something don't really need those there we go got rid of that gives us a little bit more space be careful now it's time for us to uh, night watch gauntlets. Yeah, we got to get rid of those. Keep forgetting. You need something. There we go. Farewell. So let's put some stuff up on the auction house. We got some leather gloves that I would maybe sell to like a druid. So th that might be a tough sell. I'll probably put them up for pretty cheap. I'll put these up for. Uh, let's see if actually anybody's selling any of these. None up there, so I'll put that up for like 20 silver. That should be a, a steal. And then we got the sword. The sword never sold. All right, I'll put this up for 28 silver. That seems to be there seems to be a lot of them up there. But for a moment, we'll have the cheapest one. We also got a, a staff. 40 silver for the staff, so we'll throw that up for 39. There we go. None of our gear is sold. 
the venom things and so wow gold for that I think anybody would actually pay a gold for that let's throw ours up for 98 I don't think it'll sell the back piece might be a good one 24 silver not bad put it up for 23 and then we got this little wand remember this oh, 45 silver not bad we're gonna make some money not bad if this all sells that's a nice amount of gold right there and i think our weapons are good we were getting our axe skill up a lot yesterday we were kind of playing like a survival hunter so let's uh get our heavy wool bandage going here for a little bit we also got a lot of linen on us i should probably get rid of those bandages i'll probably sell those I have some more stuff to put on the auction house, though. Like, I should probably be selling these gems and this spider silk. Just cleaning up the bags again, guys. This is really, like, the way you get your mount. You have to clean up your bags, and the more bag space you have, the more money you make, so. Trying to, hopefully, wow, this moss I got. You see that? One for 230. You wonder why these are selling for so high? Is because in BC, a lot of people are buying these up at the moment because uh, there's going to be people trying to level uh, jewel crafting. So I'll put this up for 222. I think this is going to sell fast. But we'll put this up for 222. I think this might sell, guys. So yeah, if you got any Moss Agat while you're leveling, make sure you uh, put it up on the auction house. Five silver for that. Put it up for four. 497. Hopefully our shadow gem sells. And then we got spider silk here. Is these a thick? No, this is just regular spider silk. See these right here? The ones for 711 gold? This is to trick people into purchasing uh, purchasing spider silk for that amount. And then they pretty much uh, they pretty much take your money. People buy it by accident. And uh, they kind of get screwed over. So bro, watch out for that trick. If you're ever on the auction house, don't get tricked. Looks like it's selling four for 30 silver. So we'll put ours up for uh, 10 silver. Hopefully it sells. And then we got all these like mushrooms and food that we don't use. Letter from the embalmer. I think that's good for the auction house. Oh yeah, we got some copper ore. I guess we'll throw it up there really cheap on the copper ore. I'll throw it up there for uh, 15 silver. That's a deal. And that should be it, guys. There we go. That's it. Hold everything else. And then I'm going to go to a vendor. We'll get rid of all these linen bandages. King's and then we'll make our way to turn in these quests. Where's the other linen bandages? Heavy linen, there they are. All right, there we go. So we're at 410 gold, it's not bad. I would think about buying loot. I don't really think we need gear at the moment. Probably tell uh, Gur to come out here. I gotta give him some food. That's another thing I need to do. I need to buy food. I need to buy meat. I wonder if there's a meat vendor. Should be a meat vendor. So I'm running out of meat. I w Actually, I wonder if the auction house has meat, like lean wolf blanks. The auction house meat's probably the cheapest meat, I gotta assume, right? Yeah, they're pretty expensive. I wouldn't pay that much for meat. What's the cheapest meat you think can think of? Chris Spider Tiger meat? Uh, that's, yeah, tiger meat's pretty good. Bear meat. Four bear meat. Ten. I've seen ten here. Ten tender wolf meat for. That's too much. Mystery meat. Tiger meat. Five tiger. That tiger meat seems to be the cheapest meat. Big bear meat. Turtle meat. Red wolf meat. A lot of meats out there. I think you can probably get cheaper meat from a vendor. 
I'll have to check that out. I just don't know what vendor. Like, I've never played a hunter before, so I'm order, kind of a noob when it comes to... Uh, I know there's a meat vendor. Fresh trainer, officer lounge. I guess we'll go to the inn. I would assume the inn would have a meat vendor. I buy and trade. Usually they sell like bread and milk and all that. How is our mana doing? Melon juice. Should we buy some melon juice? I think we should. Yeah, we'll buy some melon juice. Light yeah, I don't know. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go. There has to be like a meat a deli in this city. I assume it's like around here. Arcane goods. It's like an arcane shop. You gotta find like a cook place. General goods vendor. What are you looking for? Okay, sells bullets. Light shot. We got a heavy shot. How's our heavy shot doing? Don't have much. This guy doesn't sell heavy shot. Solid shot. We can now do solid shot. Let's buy a bunch of that. I guess we get. We can't sell this. It's funny how they don't want your bullets. We'll get rid of these. We'll buy like a stack. Solid shot. There we go. Got some good bullets now. I don't think this guy sells meat. Be careful. How about this lady? Need help? No. This Be is just careful. a general goods store. That's the cheese store. Let's check out the cheese shop. Looking for something specific? Yeah, just cheese. Open for <laughs> As usual. It's a cheese shop, right? What about this guy? He's just hanging out at the top of the cheese shop. Okay, so this is uh, Stormwind Visitors Center. So the meat, they're everyday merchants. This is just a wet the arsenal. The Lionheart Armory. The Gilded Rose, that's the inn. Alright, so I guess we'll just go and... I'm not really too worried about meat. Of this place, the winery. There's got to be a meat shop. I think that's the stockades right there. Tailoring shop right there. Still have a lot to learn about Stormwind. Don't really know the place that well. But maybe we'll run into a meat shop along the way. Trade district, Cathedral Square. Dwarven District. I guess we'll go to Cathedral Square first. We have to drop off this uh, the unsent letter. Deliver the letter to the city architect to Barros Alexton in Stormwind. I think we've met him before. Searching Edwin Bank Leafs in person, you discover, among other things, an unsent letter. It is addressed to Barros Alexton, the city architect of Stormwind's City Hall, Cathedral Square. It appears to be recently written and sealed. What can I do for you? Yes, is there something I can help you with? I couldn't open this letter to read it. Edwin Van Cleef, you say? I would as must expect a letter from my dead grandmother. So you've killed him then. Pardon me in saying, but I'm somewhat surprised. He was a peerless fighter in his younger years. Let's see what he finds the need to write to me about after so many years. Barosh presses the letter. Edwin, I see the years haven't changed you a bit. An idealist as ever and a romantic. He doesn't care who he hurts, Trav and Trav. Revenge has consumed him, but then I'm not sure I can blame him. And there we go. What a way to hit 26. So we've got another uh, quest called Basil Thread. Van Cleef and I were members of the Stonemasons Guild. Our main project was to build Stormwind after the war. When we had finished our duties, we were cheated. The nobles refused to pay us for our work. Some of the more senior of the stonemasons were offered governmental jobs, but Van Cleef refused 
it out of loyalty to all the stonemasons, he led a riot and left the city, where swearing revenge. His lieutenant, Basil Thread, might know more about Van Cleef's plans. He's being held prisoner in the stockade. Speak with Warden Thrillwater in the stockade. See you around. So there we go, guys. We just got a quest to do this to do for the stockade, so that's pretty good. And uh gives me more motivation to go and do that dungeon. So we'll try to do that. Now I guess we'll go to the Dwarven District. I still don't know um, where to buy meat. It's kind of a shame. This looks like a tailoring place. Guess we'll have to hunt for our meat. So there's a uh, old brother over there. Okay, so let's turn in this quest. Oh, brother. Bring Foreman Thistle Nettles Explorer's League badge to Wilder Thistle Nettle and Stormwind. We were deep in the vast mine in Westfall, hidden beneath the barn in Moonbrook. No clue where these stinking thieve types came from. Anyway, the mine tunnel collapsed on us. I got out, but the others, well... The others haven't been heard from. You look like you might have better luck in there. If you could look for my brother, I'd be thankful. He always carried his Explorer's League badge. If you can't find him, that badge would at least give me some peace of mind. And we get a miner's axe. That's a nice axe. How are you? Did you find any sign of my brother? Is there any hope after all this time? My suspicions were correct. My poor brother. Well, thank you for bringing some conclusion to this mystery, even if the conclusion was grim. And this is uh, the Miners Union cards. I don't think we're going to be going back in there. Safe yeah, I don't think we'll be going What's back in there. Mind? But that would have been a good one to have. On we're not going back to that town, to the mines, so. It's too bad. We won't do that quest. Should have picked that up earlier. Yeah, his brother became undead. He became a ghoul. It's too bad. And also, it's funny how Edwin Van Cleef, you know, started a... Started a whole, like, gang militia against Stormwind. All because of uh, what happened to the Stonemasons. What a pretty loyal guy. Hey. Shoney the Silent. Underground Assault. Have you found the gnome Spreckle Sprocket, Trap and Trap? Well done, Trap and Trap. Thank you... Nomoragon is one step closer to its day of liberation. So let's take, uh, I think the gauntlets would probably cost more. Or the wand. Wouldn't think cost more. The wand or the gauntlets. Usually weapons cost more, so we'll go with the wand. It's terrible, Trav and Trav. We are not going to have enough parts to get our fleet of gyro dramatic excavationers to Dunmoreau. What we need are spare parts, Trav and Trav, and what better place to get the spare parts for our vehicles than Nomoragon? I hear the bots and mechs roam around that place like cattle on an open range. What I need you to do is go to Nomoragon and tear apart those robots, bring me back their robot guts. Two dozen should be sufficient. Alright, so I guess Very well, we then. now have a quest to do for Nomoragon. That'll be a dungeon we should do, and I also haven't been in Nomoragon yet in Classic WoW. There's a lot of, like, Alliance dungeons that Horde players just, I don't know, don't really do. Unless they go out of their way. So there we go. We turned in all three quests. I have to upgrade here. I guess we'll keep upgrading Unleashed Fury. And now our pet uh, damage has increased by 16% from 12%. So that's a good upgrade. And I have to... Did I equip that gun? No, I haven't equipped the gun yet. So let's equip that gun. Got a nice buff from a paladin. What a nice guy. So yeah, we're just prepping up, guys. We're doing a little prepping for uh, shield merchant there, eh? For this guy. It's got to be a meat shop. Like, come on, there's got to be a meat shop. Protective hide. This is Old Town. Old Town probably has got the meat shop. And 
There's no meat shop in there. The Pig and Whistle. Honest place. Maybe the Pig and Whistle Tavern has it. Sounds like there's some fighting going on. Let's talk to Reese here. Greetings. Oh, maybe this guy's. Good day to you. Life bless you. They don't sell anything? Oh, she does. I doubt she sells meat. Well met. It's just brew. Just drinks here. All right. Well, let's go. Can't find the meat vendor. Okay, well, I'll try to figure out where it is. Eventually. <laughs> and we'll, uh... Oh, Dash will stone fist. This guy's a tough guy. Okay, enough. Enough fight. No one else needs to get hurt. He beat up everybody. Help a poor bloke out. Oh, buddy, I'm a poor bloke myself. Here we go. Getting out of here. We're going to Old Town. Bag vendor there. Didn't know there was a bag vendor. A lot of armor merchants in, no in Old Town. I think they'd have, like, a meat vendor. I know where the meat vendor is in Ogremar. But that's about it. I could tell you, like, in Thunderbuff and, uh... An undercity, but I know where it is in Ogremar. Because I remember buying uh, meat for my guild mate, who was a hunter. I was just going to help him out because he forgot to bring meat to raid. But yeah, we finished all the quests there. I think our bags are, are cleared up. I'm going to sell this gun. Well met. And then, uh, next episode, we should be, uh, doing a dungeon. I'm going to try to do stockades. And if I can't find a dungeon, then I guess we'll have to, uh, probably maybe go to a new zone to level. Or maybe we'll head back to, yeah, maybe we'll head back to, uh, to Duskwood. Who knows? But that is the end of this episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.